Before we make our Android uh, deployment, there's one thing we've got to think about, which is how is Android bringing that camera feed uh, to to our to our scene, and how are we going to be able to work with our own skybox that's only going to render inside this other world, and the and the camera is going to render everywhere else. Um, so first of all, I'll just create a new scene. Um, and this, this will at least give us like a fresh, a fresh environment to really like look at look at this uh, uh, the, uh these conditions. Okay, the first condition is you see these clear flags up here in our um, uh, Android Android camera. Now the clear flags are going to be overridden. It doesn't matter what I set that to because uh, when when I run the Android session script, it's actually going to say, "Oh, we're going to clear," which means. Uh, before you render anything else, render the whole screen as something, and it's going to render the whole screen as uh, uh, the camera feed, which is a problem for us because we really want to use these beautiful procedural skyboxes, and you need a camera to render a, a procedural skybox. So, you know, what do we do? All right, let's create another camera, and we'll, we'll set this main camera to being. Um, uh, uh, we'll just clear it to a solid color so we can see what's going on. And we'll call the second camera our skybox camera. Uh, you, you might remember we're using that old uh, that old special skybox. We're not using that one anymore. We're just going to use a regular default skybox. I mean, like you could even create your own with custom colors, but it won't have its own shader. I guess is what I'm saying. In fact, I think I, I will I will create a new skybox. Uh, I'll call it I'll call it uh, simple. Simple skybox, and that, and that's going to use your regular, regular procedural skybox. Let's give it a nice, nice color. Oh yeah, it's kind of interesting. You see it down here in this uh, in this preview, by the way. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah, all right. I like that one. Yeah, I mean, so we really want we really want to use these skyboxes because they're awesome. Um, I'm just going to pop that in materials materials folder. Go over to lighting, set it as set it as this new simple skybox. Okay, and where was I? Um, yeah, so we, we got this skybox camera, which is only going to render only going to render uh, only going to render the skybox. And and you'll notice at the moment, you say for example, if I put a cube here, um, if I have a look at my uh, let's have a look main camera, I can see this. I can see the cube on in the main camera. And then, skybox camera. I can also see the cube. What I'm what I'm going to do as well. I'm just going to I'm going to uh, group these group these two cameras into one. We'll call it like a dummy device for now. Dummy device. In when we do this with AR core, it'll be called the AR core device. And put the main and the skybox camera inside there. So whatever I do to one of the cameras, I'm also going to do the other. And make sure both of their transforms are reset. So they're both exactly, exactly uh, at the at the origin of our dummy device. And now, if we look at if we look at each of the cameras, you can see we're we're rendering that cube twice. We really don't want to do that. That's very like expensive thing to do. Um, so we can change the culling mask of our skybox camera to nothing, and you'll notice now it's only rendering the skybox. And that's yeah, that's going to be that's going to be much easier, much more simple. We ought to see a lot more of what's going on. Now the the next thing I wanted to show you was depth. So for example, right now our main camera is writing at a depth of negative one. This is kind of like the render queue of cameras, right? Our skybox camera is rendering at a depth of one. If I change that to negative two, then our main camera is going to render first. All right. So what we really want is we want to render our skybox, and then our main camera. So. So it's going to look like this for the moment, and now it's like, okay, so this is what our problem is. We've got we've got our main camera is rendering uh, the camera feed at the moment. It's blue, but that would be the camera feed, and then and then our environment with all of our stencils and everything like that. Um, and now, how are we going to get our skybox to play ball? How are we going to get our skybox into that scene? Um, and yeah, and I guess there's a few different ways we could do that. What what we're gonna do, and it's it, it sounds it might sound if you haven't seen this technique before, it might seem like really like a what's it called uh, a counterintuitive or, or like or like a, like a like a hack, but but it's actually it's something that I've seen a little people using a little bit like like just as a way of solving a problem because if you can actually 
render something, render a scene to a quad and have that quad in front of you everywhere you go, then it's actually kind of the same thing as rendering, you know, uh, uh, a full skybox background, right? Like it'll, it'll work the same. So at the moment what's happening is our skybox camera is gonna, it's gonna be rendering, like if I rotate that for example, it's gonna render uh, uh, whatever, wherever the person's looking. And at the moment it's whatever it's rendering is being overridden um, by, by, our, um, <clears throat> by our main camera. But if we create a render texture, then this is something that our Skybox camera can render to. So I'll call it Skybox Render, and I'll um, in our Skybox camera, I'm going to set the target texture to Skybox Render. Now you notice that just changed to a little picture of our of our world, and that'll update every frame. Um, I'm also I'm also going to put that in the materials folder. Yes. Okay. So now we've got that that going. Uh, what do we need next? Now we need this quad that I was talking about. Uh, we go 3D objects, uh, quad. We're also going to put this quad under our dummy device. Remember, everywhere that uh, that our other objects go, uh, our other everywhere that our ca our device goes, our quad goes too. It'll look something like this, but we really want it to be behind the rest of our scenery. Otherwise, it'll write to the it'll write to the Z uh, Z buffer and hide everything. All right. So uh, by default, the Android's uh, far clipping plane is 200 meters, and so we can say, why don't we put our bought our quad at 150 meters, that's going to be really far away, you can barely see it at the moment, and then maybe like make it uh, 200 by 200 uh, wide and high. And now, we can create a new material, which will be our, um, our material which will actually uh, <clears throat> have, the, have the, sky, the picture of the skybox on it, uh, we'll, call it we'll call it the uh, skybox, we'll call it the skybox render material, and if we use this unlit unlit texture uh, uh, shader, then we can select our skybox render uh, texture, so, so put it on there, and then on our skybox render material, we can attach it there, and we've got this kind of strange effect happening where, uh, our, where our, our, our skybox is being rendered twice, and, and um, it's being rendered to this, to this material. Um, yeah, okay, so now we've, we've got that sort of done, um, what's the next step? Well, we've got to consider that actually in our game, we don't want to render our skybox all the time. So for example, at the moment, our skybox would always, always 100% occlude our, uh, our, our camera feed. We actually want to say only render the skybox in this other world. And you might be starting to see where I'm going to go with this. It's like, oh, let's make another shader. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> uh, the, the shader we've just been looking at is called the. Um, remember in our downloads folder when we downloaded all those all those shaders from the Unity downloads archive. Um, the the shader we we're looking at is called Unlit Normal. Uh, in the, in that downloads folder, so I can just look up Unlit Normal, which we, it translates, I guess, to Unlit Texture. Uh, I'll pop it into my shaders folder. I'm going to change it to uh, Skybox Render. Yeah, we'll open up. We're going to do exactly the same thing to this as we did to all of our other materials and, and shaders that we've been sort of creating, right? So we just create our uh, create our, our our stencil our stencil test, and <clears throat> then we'll be editing that in our portal window whenever you go through it. All right, so I'll create that enum. Uh, I'll call it uh, have the equal is three, and not equal is six. All right, we'll call it stencil test. That's the most important one. Make sure that it's got the exactly the same, exactly the same name as the rest of them. And uh, stencil test will be what shows up in the inspector, and it's an integer. And by default, it'll be six. Means by 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 default it'll only it it'll, it'll render all the time. So in the editor we'll be able to see it unless we're looking through the portal. All right, now we just quickly create our stencil stencil uh, ref one comp uh, stencil test. Uh, if you're just dropping into this video, by the way, there's a whole bunch of videos I did in this playlist earlier of like 
what all this stuff means. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, we'll we'll just focus on on um, on our Skybox system and yeah. So that that's kind of done done like that. Looks good. Um, I'm just gonna quickly go over to my Skybox camera, remove that flare layer and audio listener. And now we've got our now we've got our new shader. I can go back to my material, my Skybox uh, render material, and I'm going to change its change its shader. And of course, I've forgotten. This is the thing that I forget every time. I for always forget to put it in its right right folder. I don't know, maybe because it's like not a functional thing or something. I always forget it. Um, custom slash Skybox Skybox render. And all right, so now it should pop up in our in our in our list of textures, and that'll it'll even keep the render texture if we already set that before. Alrighty, uh, let's bring in the rest of the scene. See how it's actually see how it's actually playing with our with our our regular objects. Oh, actually, before I do that, this is one of those things that I'd easily forget. No, no, it's after I do that. <laughs> Wait, I'm getting my <laughs> it's all mixed up. All right, I've got to I've got to import import our world. And the first thing I'm going to do, which I thought I was about to do, is in our portal window, make sure we add our new material. Um, actually, we're not using the skybox in this scene, but I'm, I'll leave it for the other scenes that we, in which we do use that skybox. Uh, and I'm going to drag my skybox render material. Is that my sky? This is my skybox render material. Um, in, in, in into my materials that'll get updated. While I'm here, I'm also going to set up my device really quickly put that in my device uh, so that this is what's going to check against if there's a collision. Speaking of collisions, remember there's two things we've got to do here. We've got to add a rigid body to our device. Uh, oopsie daisy. Make a rigid body. Uh, no gravity is kinematic. Make a box collider. Is trigger. And size of 0 0.01. 0 0.01 high as well. Uh, I'm, I'm also I'm also going to add a I'm also going to add that camera controller just for testing. All right, now if I've done my job right, uh, that might be everything. Let's see. All right, so yeah, okay, this is really good to demonstrate what's actually happening here. Um, I'm just wondering why this is all the way over here. My camera's. You know what I think happening? You know what I think's happening? I'm just looking at my. I'm looking at my. My see my my. Uh, I don't even really call it my gizmo, for for the position of my my device. My device's position is actually here, but it's like become the average of all the all the child objects. So it looks kind of confusing. Um, but yeah, I can sort of I can put it relatively close to the to the portal. Okay, so notice how that's blue. That's really important because what that blueness is is the main camera's like main camera's solid color. I can change that to any other color and that'll that'll be when we're doing uh, AR core, that'll be whatever's uh, uh, whatever's being rendered from our physical camera. All right, let's give this a go anyway. See see how it's all all coming along. All right, so yep, yeah, so we can see we've got our physical world and you look on the inside, there's our other world. Pop through it and then oh wow, okay. And you notice this plane uh, is is coming along with us wherever we look we can see this uh, this other um uh this this skybox even though it's kind of like smoke and mirrors right you can see the see what's happening there it's like wherever i look that skybox kind of following along if i disabled that quad then it would actually just go back to the camera feed <laughs> um so yeah so i guess that's our that's our technique um, in the next video we'll actually put this into the android device and and actually deploy it